In today's video, I tried to survive three games of Bad Wars without dying once. If I die, even if I still have a bed, I have to leave the game and I officially lost. I didn't know how easy or hard this was gonna turn out, but it was definitely a journey full of emotions and sick place. So what am I waiting for? Let the three games begin. Okay, boys and girls, third try actually. First of all, I'm gonna explain what exactly I mean by the intro. In the Bad Wars community, you call what I'm aiming for a flawless game. Like there's a perfect game where you get every single bad and every single final in the game, but there's also a flawless game. And a flawless game is basically that you, no matter what you do, just not die. You can't void on purpose, you can't die to enemies in PvP encounters, you can't get hit in the void, nothing. I anticipated the first rush to be the most challenging thing about this, but why is he that stacked? But it actually turned out that um, I always mastered the first rush and I died in some different way every time I tried this. Also, I have to get out of here because I have to remember flawless game challenge. Yes, let me get back to my base and gap. Due to this person being insanely stacked already, like not insanely, but decently, I have to combo them if I want to do anything. What is he doing? Okay, <laughs> I mean, uh, whatever. <laughs> Another wonderful thing about this challenge is I basically just do not own a bat. Of course I do have a bat, but it doesn't matter if I lose it or anything, because I can't use it anyways. One thing that I realized that's like really weird is I feel like Hypixel is actually having like an ELO system or something, because it's been a while since I faced noobs like this on my main account where I have a 500 stars. Like, this is honestly just really weird to... Okay, I need to get out of here, cause... Cause his, his first rush is actually approaching. Wait, he didn't have a bed. Okay, good. Um, can I get out of here again? Yeah, okay. Perfect. I should have bought a gap. This is stupid. Please, don't make me die like that. Okay. <laughs> As I said, uh, third game of the day. I mean, I also play like really, really risky. This is not smart, but um, I'm not frustrated enough yet to play careful. If I die now, it's because my inventory isn't sorted. You, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't like this one single bit. Huh. Let's open his bed. Oh, his bed defense I was gonna say, but actually he has some endstone hidden under that. He's a sneaky boy. Okay. Okay, let's get his bed. And let's get out of here. Okay, uh, let's gap one more time and go back in. Okay, I feel like I could slowly be getting warmed up, but I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm using the RKY Fault 16X pack. I'm not really into all these packs, so I'm not quite sure what exactly this is and for how many subscribers he released it. But um, the only reason I do use this for is it has these hardcore hearts and um, that's like the whole purpose of the challenge that I can't die and stuff so the hardcore hearts were really important for the general feel don't worry in the next few videos I'm gonna have my old texture pack back or the grinding bad wars game of AD texture pack uh, also this ping counter is completely lying. I do not have 30 ping. They just made it so you can't see your ping anymore and that also confuses the ping counters. One of the most challenging things as always is I have to play on maps that I really do not know. Like I have, I only ever play five maps I think that are like really really good for bad wars. <laughs> and the rest of the maps I don't ever play, so I don't know how to play on this. Uh, for a few of the new maps, I don't even know where to rush first and stuff. 
I'm so stupid, I actually did the same mistake again. I, instead of jump, I bought speed. That's, that's like one of the downsides of using this texture pack. I really do not know how the potions look like. So, um, yep, <laughs> I officially have three speed potions and zero jump potions. Yes, that's what you like to see. Okay, let's see. And boom, you're gone. That's the game. Whoop, first flawless game, hardcore game, whatever. Give me views now. Next game. <laughs> okay, so the last map I at least have played on, like, not a decent amount, but like a couple of times, was Acropolis. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that map, but I at least played games on that map, you know. Um, this map is one of the new maps, and a part of that one time I played it when I wanted to make that video about the new maps, I've never played this in my entire life. So... Wish me luck, I guess. <laughs> Okay, this Steve has one high pixel level. If I lose against him, I'm gonna be really... He's just randomly swinging his sword and landing hits. <laughs> Did you see that? He was like, his head was going around like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> and he still landed like all of his hits. That was scary for a moment. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> the shop not being set up is actually a huge bummer. I just realized I can actually buy. Oh, he, okay. <laughs> he died. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we all make mistakes. This was probably like his one of his first ever Bad Boys games. So really unfortunate that he had to run into a 500 star. <laughs> like technically I'm only two stars, but you know. <laughs> you know. Okay, this could get scary here. Don't, oh, don't fall in the void with my amps. Okay. Hello. Okay, he just disappeared. I don't know. Uh, okay, now there is a scary man called Aqua. I'm not even gonna bother him. I'm just gonna take the valuables that I got with me. Actually, I completely... Ah, uh, okay. Here's the way out. This could be completely stupid, but... I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, he's gone. I'm gonna pre-gap just in case he turns out to be insanely good at the game. Apparently he's known as the block trap master. <laughs> okay. Okay, I spent my emeralds on one invis potion and two jump potions. Um, just cause as I just told you jump potions are insanely good. Um, Let's check the situation. No, I feel like I can't easily go there. Okay, let's do it like this. Then drink the Inverse Potion. I feel like this is the best person yet to use the Inverse Potion on, because he seemed the most aware. Okay, now he's not aware anymore. Okay, uh, maybe he doesn't know that he has to swing his sword to deal damage. Like not even trolling or not even making fun of him but I I honestly just feel like he doesn't know that like because whenever I wanted to attack him and he apparently wanted to attack me I'm, I'm just assuming <laughs> he just <laughs> plays blocks maybe he thought blocks were the tool to attack with and um, had to stop talking for a moment. Maybe he thought blocks were the tool to attack with and your right click button is actually your attack button. That would make sense. I I don't know about this. Maybe maybe that's not the truth. Let's see if he has a trap. Okay. Great. Got his bed. Now I'm gonna run out. Okay. Now I'm gonna pre-gap. Shoot the fireball at him. Oh, he was the first person today to land hits on me, or at least in that game, I'm pretty sure. I think the guy I just took out, I already forgot the color, but I think he got a few hits on me, like at least two or something. Um, yeah, scary stuff, I'll tell ya. Brother, this is the end of the game, you know? Huh. GG. 
<laughs> this was literally the next attempt after the first successful flawless game. Let's see if we can get a three win streak. Okay guys, last game on actually one of the good maps, finally we got Airshow. I literally do not understand- I wanted to defend my bed. <laughs> I literally do not understand how I made it through my first couple hundred stars without being able to choose maps. Because I have to random queue maps on this account because I do not have a rank on this. Also excuse me if I don't speed bridge all the time because I really want to make sure I can tell a story and not fall down. Like usually I can do that but I just want to go completely 100% sure. Like I random queued all the maps I've played today and you just get bad maps. Like I'm about to upload a video on how to play Bad Wars, just a general Bad Wars guide. Maybe not, maybe not next week or the next couple of weeks but I'm working on it. <laughs> And um, there you're gonna see which maps I personally prefer playing and which I do not prefer playing. And I hope you're gonna understand that because it's really easy to understand. Also just to be sure I'm gonna slowly dig myself in here because then I can do this. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. But be sure to not actually follow that guide because otherwise I would actually have to fight sentient players and that's definitely not what I want to do. Also I'm gonna collect all eight emeralds again so after I took out the next base I can use them to get even more powerful and stab more nerds for coins. Ah wrong video. <laughs> uh, yeah if you're a YouTuber you can probably relate to that but uh, it's so annoying if you forget to set your phone to mute, then it keeps ringing throughout your recording and mid interesting or funny moments, it just randomly rings and you have to re-record whatever just happened. Like in the case you said some, like in case you said something funny or something important, you, you just have to say that again. And if you say it for the second time, it kind of feels weird. I don't know if you're not a YouTuber, you can probably not relate to that. And my personal problem is that I also am way too lazy to mid-recording just set it to mute because my hands are kind of binded to the keyboard. I, I can't not have my hands on the keyboard right now. Thank you. <laughs> ah yeah, life as a YouTuber is really hard. What was his plan? Dude, what was your plan? Wait, you lived. One thing that I feel like could be true is with noobs like this, they take way more KB. Is that possible? Like, I feel like noobs like this just take way more KB. Also, thank you for the flawless. I'm not good at PvP apparently right now, but that was that was decent. Made me look like I'm good at PvP. <laughs> That's probably how 90% of the Bear Wars YouTubers videos work. Just go in low elo and play there and everyone's like, Whoa, you're the best YouTuber. Ooh, pew pew, shots in the Bear Wars YouTuber business. But yeah, guys, I'm afraid. Wait. It's not yellow, it's actually green. And wait, that's actually my own base. Ah, here's green. Hello, green. Oh, you seem to be at least somewhat sweaty. Like, okay, I just almost flawless him, but that seemed somewhat uh, somewhat sweaty. I might have to be careful. Yeah, it looks like the video should be over in just a few moments. Really sorry to tell you guys. Yes. This is a pretty over video, but uh, GG's to everyone that participated. I have to thank my mother and my grandma and obviously my sister. And also I want to thank Henrik and Obersal. Okay, no. Obersal for it? Nah. I mean, he's not gonna see it anyways. Like, he is not watching my videos. He always says all my videos are crap. Uh, uh, now I feel sad. Anyways, boys and girls, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. If you think I'm pretty in this skin, then be sure to smash like and also subscribe. If you're wondering, Modern Legends LP, how did you get this idea for the video? You have to credit someone. Surely you didn't come up with that yourself. Um, yeah, I just... Okay, it's actually a funny story. I interviewed a kind of decently big YouTuber, his, his audience is decently big. Uh, I'm not gonna say who that was, but they said uh, how I started my YouTube channel and got 10k subscribers in the first week of doing YouTube is I just looked at the trends 
And then I did exactly what the trends were. So, ha. Uh, I'm trying that too now. Like, a lot of people are getting over 10 million views in less than a week on... I played a hundred days of hardcore and this happened. So this is basically a clone of that. <laughs> yeah. Just a little side explanation. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next video and bye.